What's up Skidbags? Welcome back to the channel. Season 11 is finally here. So I thought I'd just put a quick video out there to show you all the what's and changes, buffs and reworks. So yeah, I'll uh, put some timestamps so you can skip through to the ones you want to see. Hope you enjoy the video. Catch you on the next one. Okay, first change in the patch notes is Watson can place her tactical and ultimate objects on valid surfaces above Watson's eye level. Okay, yeah, that's definitely working. And as you can see in season 10, I couldn't get it up onto that, that higher surface there. And this also works for the ultimate as well. You can stick it up on that rock. Okay, there have been quite a few changes when it comes to the fences and damage uh, against opponents. So first thing, uh, damage when crossing a fence has gone up by 33%. So on your normal characters, it's gone from 15 up to 20. And on your big boys like Gibby and Caustic, from 13 to 17. Uh, second thing, the stun effect that you get when you go through has doubled from 1.5 to 3 seconds. And the third thing, the tick time, so if you stand in the fence, as you saw earlier, that has actually slowed down, so that's a little bit of a nerf. So you can see season 10, that was hitting every half a second, it's now gone up to every second. The fence cooldown or recharge time has gone down by 50%, from 30 to 15 seconds, that's a massive buff. Okay, next one is the increased placement range by 50%. Now I thought that meant you could make the fences 50% longer. It actually means you can put the fences down from 50% further away, as you can see there. I was quite far away from those nodes. The time for fences to reactivate after you or one of your teammates run through them has decreased by 60%. So instead of a second, it's now 0.4 seconds. Uh, that's going to be a massive uh, help when you're going up a zip line with someone following you. Movement speed when placing fences now matches uh, unarmed speed. So it's the same as running around without your gun out. Fence nodes can now be placed immediately instead of waiting for a, an animation. It feels much faster and smoother now. The pylons have had an absolutely massive rework this season. You no longer put three down, you can only put one. But what happens is these don't disappear after 90 seconds, they'll stay forever. And uh, the bar around the bottom now shows how many shields it can regenerate. So it's uh, up to a total of 250 shields, so that's two red evos for anyone who's standing within range. And then once that runs out, it'll just carry on blocking ordnance but not recharging shields. Um, another major buff as well is the regeneration time. Now that's gone up by 150% and the shields recharge so fast now you can see. This is now coming compared to last season. Absolutely insane. Massive buff. And then one of a nice thing you can do as well, once uh, you ping your pylon, it'll actually tell you how many shields are left to regenerate. You can see that one's actually run out. I've also done a comparison of how the pylon there reacts to all the different ordnance. So the grenades, uh, the rolling thunder, the bombardment, fuses ultimate, and it's so much better now. I mean, you'll see when it gets to Gibby and it gets to fuses ultimates, you'll notice a massive difference. Strike. 
bringing down some destruction. <laughs> Painless knocking at the door. Heads up, dropping the pain. As I've just found out, Ash's tactical is also destroyed by the pylon, which is awesome. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will catch you on the next one.